Hey there guys, Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile and the brand new Nexus 6 running Android 5.0 Lollipop. And today what we wanted to do was show you, you know, 10 or 15 or so tips and tricks or little hidden features that not only the Nexus 6 but Android 5.0 Lollipop uh, introduced to the Android operating system and our smartphones. So with Android 5.0 there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of things that are new, there's lots going on. The tap and go device restore when you first unlock the device and open it up for the first time and power it on is a big one. But there's a lot of stuff that Google's gone ahead and added to Android 5.0 Lollipop that we wanted to show you here just really quickly. We're going to run through some, try not to make this too long, so it's going to be kind of short and sweet, but uh, that is the point. Give you a couple of quick tips and trips. Uh, so go ahead and uh, you swipe down from the notification bar, but uh, if you pull down with two fingers, you instantly get the shortcuts for the quick toggles, which is something a lot of people don't know, so instead of having to pull down twice to kind of get to all that, you just pull down with two fingers. Another thing here, it's a big phone, you might want a case, I do have a case on mine, but what we want to do from that pull down bar, we'll show you a couple things. There's a lot of stuff from guest mode and battery savers and data uses shortcuts and checking the battery stats and there's a new do not disturb mode, you can set all these all kinds of priority notifications and search and settings, there's a flashlight toggle right here, so I mean there's a lot of stuff going on. So if you go ahead and pull down, pull down again, if you tap your you know data usage logo, AT&T or Verizon or whatever you have, it'll quickly show you your data usage. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, it's kind of one of those quick little shortcuts that enables you to instantly launch into your cellular data. See I've used about five gigs. You can tap more settings and see what you've used and all that and go into the standard data usage page. So this is a lot easier than going into settings and more and data usage and scrolling through all that. And another thing here, if you pull down, if you tap the battery symbol right up the top, It'll instantly go into the battery and show you what has been using your battery for the day. That's another kind of quick, easy, simple shortcut that just a lot of people don't know is right there from the screen. So, I mean, it's really easy just to go ahead and swipe down and tap that battery button rather than kind of fumbling through all of the settings. So, that's one thing a lot of people like. Another one, you pull down twice or with two fingers. And right here is a little m button here for uh, which user account. With Android, you know, Jelly Bean, Google introduced multiple user accounts for tablets. With Android 5.0 Lollipop, that is now expanded to smartphones. You tap that, you see I'm using one guest account. You can add a guest, you can add a user, whether you want to call this kids mode or guest mode or whatever you have it. So you have your own one, you can also have like a business account and all that stuff and everything is separated. Apps and everything is completely, you know, done in a great way. So there it is, multi-user accounts on the Nexus 6 and Android 5.0. Showed you that battery saver, a couple other things. Battery saving mode, while we're there talking about battery, if you tap that battery button to get into here, you see all your battery usage, and if you're running low on battery, go ahead and just tap the three little menu buttons up top in the battery button, and tap battery saver. When you turn on battery saver, it will obviously turn off things like the vibration and ambient display, and it'll even kill like some of the background data from you know, emails and messages and stuff like that, will all kind of get shut down. It's more of just like a, a last case scenario to preserve battery if you need it to get through like a little bit longer in the day. Of course, you do have the turbo charger that gives you extra juice and a big battery on the Nexus 6, but if you need battery saver, that is how you do it. It does kind of give you this odd orange thing to let you know that you are in battery saver mode. Go ahead and turn that off because I have plenty of battery. But uh, that was another one. And then of course we have a new do not disturb. If you go ahead and tap the volume button here, you have a new way to control notifications and this is part of a do not disturb. So if you set priority, this is kind of more than one trick in one. You can set priority notifications to come through for indefinitely or only for an hour. And what this is, is you can go ahead and go into settings and uh, set certain reminders, certain calls, certain messages, or even certain people that you want or don't want to interrupt you. So if you want only for calls from your friend or your family or messages or only certain things to come through, that is how you do that. That is the new do not disturb and the new priority notifications all in one. It's a nice feature. Uh, that a lot of people like. Another one here, if you tap that and go to none, this kills everything. It is like a complete do not disturb, but not even alarms. You won't even get alarms coming through, which is kind of a, a downer because I, I don't want that to completely go away, like at all, ever. But for some reason, Google chose that. Go ahead and go back to all. I want my notifications to be coming up. And then, of course, there's a lot of lock screen shortcuts and stuff like that. Um, if you have a you know lock screen pin or password, that'll be a little different. But when you go ahead and turn on the phone, of course you can swipe up to unlock like always. If you swipe from the side, as you see there's that camera button, you can instantly launch the camera. But if you now swipe from this side, you instantly launch your dialer, little phone button. That's kind of an addition to Android 5.0 Lollipop that is, is kind of nice. 
Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on here, of course. The flashlight, one tap here, will give you a flashlight, which is nice, especially when you got a dual LED flash rocking on this device. You get quick, easy flashlight all from the notification toggles. Another thing is cast your screen. So here is Google Chromecast. If you do have that $35 device, you can cast your entire screen right to your big screen TV all over a Wi-Fi account, and it's conveniently located right here in this area. So just quickly tap that and cast your screen in seconds. Just like, you know, the AT&T stuff and everything else. And then, you know, of course, if you tap Wi-Fi, it'll kill Wi-Fi. You tap it again, it'll turn it on. But if you push and hold, it'll take you into your Wi-Fi settings. Um, instead of having to, of course, fumble through the settings menu and head to Wi-Fi. So everything's kind of, you know, a little easier. This is nothing too extremely new, but it is an addition that's nice. Something a lot of people want to do. But speaking of the flashlight and settings, couple other things here. If you go ahead and go into settings and you don't know exactly what you're looking for throughout your settings page, tap here and it's search in settings. Now this is big. You can tap and search for certain things. If you're looking for, you know, security or whatnot, you just, as you start typing, screen security, security, sleep, it's just kind of an easier way to find the notification, you know, find the setting you were looking for versus, you know, messing through the entire big, not necessarily convoluted, pretty simple, but Instead of scrolling through the whole settings menu, you can just do it with ease, very quick and easy. So, not too bad. Another one here is uh, the Nexus 6 can record in full 4K video. A lot of people don't know that, Ultra HD 4K. So if you go ahead and launch the camera app, let's go ahead and do this on screen for you. And go into settings, and then go into resolution and quality come down to video and the back camera video. I have it set to 1080p because I don't need to record massive videos, but if you'd like, Ultra HD 4K video is an option. You can record in full 4K on the Nexus 6. It's another kind of little trick that a lot of people may not know, but uh, it, it could be handy for a lot of you. And then of course, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, there's, there's a lot of little quick things we could show you. Um, you can go ahead and come in here to location. If you push and hold location, it'll turn it off. But if you push and hold a little longer, it'll take you right into Google's location settings. Well, should have. I don't know what happened there. But basically, the location settings will kind of control how your device uses location, whether it uses, you know, everything, the Wi-Fi, GPS. I usually set it to battery saving mode to uh, only use Wi-Fi and cellular networks to locate, you know, data for your location versus GPS because it will save your battery a little bit. But another thing is screen pinning. This is another big feature that's maybe a part of guest mode or you're giving your you know someone your phone to you know make a phone call and you don't want them going through your, your you know your gallery, you're looking through your text messages, you're giving your, your child your phone and you don't want them messing with stuff or changing stuff. You just want them to play the game they're playing and leave it at that. There's a new feature called screen pinning. Go ahead and pull down, go into settings and security right there, and scroll down to the bottom. There's a new feature called screen pinning. So if you tap that, when turned on, you can use screen pinning to keep the current screen in view until you unpin. So what this does is if you have a password or pin enabled on your phone, you go ahead and go to an app, go to a game, go to your dialer, and there will be a little screen pin button in the corner. And you tap that and it locks it to that screen. So if you give someone the phone to make a phone call, they can't do anything else, can't mess with stuff. This is a great feature and uh, something that I think a lot of people have been wanting. And so now it's here, so it's pretty, pretty nice. And of course here, lots of other stuff, maybe the Android sh lollipop Easter egg. Go to settings, go to the bottom, go to about phone, and find Android 5.0. Tap that a bunch of times, and you see you're running Android 5.0 lollipop. This is nothing extremely new. We've seen this all along, but if you long press, you get Flappy Birds. Yes, the ridiculously obnoxious game that was way popular than needed to be is now an Android Flappy Bird built right inside of your phone. And I got one, it's good enough for me. I don't wanna get mad and throw my phone. Then of course there's a lot of other stuff. If you plug your phone in and it's charging, the lock screen will tell you how long before uh, you know charging is full. Uh, there's just there's a lot of stuff going on that's new here with Android 5.0. Of course the new multitask setting or recent menu is another one, pretty nice. Go ahead and just flip through all those and clear apps with ease. But that's not really a feature or something hidden, it's just, something a lot of people will like. But use those front-facing speakers. Um, there's even in the uh, you know, Google TV and Movies app a setting to enable better audio, which would be very handy on the Nexus 6 because it does have dual front-facing speakers. But that was it, just a couple of quick tips and tricks 
for the Nexus 6 and Android 5.0 Lollipop. Stay tuned for plenty more. Thanks for watching, guys.